you know, you've done such a great job with attaching yourself to projects that spark conversation and create this lasting impact on audiences. What is your vetting process like when you're deciding what roles you want to go out for? What was it about this film in particular that attracted you to it? Uh, they offered me the part. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I hear a lot of people say that and they're like, oh, I just needed a job. And it, it, most of the time that's true. Um, I was incredibly lucky because it was a really, really cool job. Yeah. Um, uh but yeah i mean that 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 was that was the vetting process was you're willing to hire me fantastic <laughs> when do i start um but uh, yeah um that said it it's really was amazed that they offered it to me um is it such a wonderful script it's, it's so beautiful yeah. it's, i was so excited i was so excited to dive into something like that. i'd never done anything like it before um yeah there's a moment in the film where your character says that everything that we know and everything that makes us great was once an insane idea what's the craziest idea that you've ever had that's transpired into something beyond your wildest imagination okay uh well i i moved to this town without <laughs> knowing anyone um not even to be an actor i think i wanted to be uh, I didn't know what I wanted to be. I was an injured dancer and I was nursing an injury. Injury got better. I was street performing on Venice Beach. Um, I started doing random acting jobs on like non-union commercials and Pepsi commercials for Japan and just nonsense. And I loved it. It was ridiculous. It was crazy. It was something different every day. Loved it um, and sort of fell into into acting and then was like you know what i'm gonna really try and do this thing and that was insane because i had no money i knew no one in the industry i looked at the wiki how page for acting that's where i started i googled how to act <laughs> that is where my journey began and that is a ridiculous idea and here we are <laughs> so many actors are now going to start looking at that wiki page and, and you've had such an incredible journey in this industry thus far so you got to start somewhere so if you're, yeah. you know yeah no shame looking at the wiki how <laughs> a lot more nuance than is available on the wiki how page but yeah. yeah chemistry is so fundamental for a project like this and from the map of tiny perfect things to the in-between to this project it always seems so effortless for you what's your secret to that success and was there a moment where you and alexandra felt that connection needed for your two characters you know i really have to, to give that to to them to the the women that you're you're talking about joey king and gather newton and and alex ship um there it's them it's them they're they're wonderful and uh open and uh, just kind and vibrant and they bring so much that it really has it was always so easy for me um i absolutely without question owe my career to those women and mm -hmm. more uh, isabel Furman um did, essentially gave me my one of my first jobs um you know i've just been so clueless as an actor and it's different for guys than it is for girls and girls cannot be clueless mm. you don't get a job you don't work again the the, the bar um the skill to entry is i feel much higher for for women and so those were kind of my teachers Great answer. Um, yeah. So, I mean, the, the chemistry for me is like, I am just trying to learn everything I can from the <laughs> Please give me what you have. Um, and uh, I probably, I'm glad it comes off well. It definitely does. And, you know, speaking of incredible women, Kira directed this project because she's built an illustrious career as an actor. Is the filming experience different when you're working with a director who has experience in front of the camera? Is there some kind of a shorthand that you develop? What was that collaboration like? Brilliant. She's a, uh, a brilliant director and has an incredible amount of acting experience. So I think she just knows she can read people and she can just speak to you 
exactly how you need to hear it. And so I think the shorthand is is really it's just intention. You can she could just communicate exactly how she knew someone would need to hear it. Uh, and I was no exception. Something that this film does so brilliantly is the way that it plays with different beats and tones and doesn't let audiences sit in one space for too long, which makes that final scene that much more impactful. You handled his journey with so much nuance. As an actor, how did you create the space for yourself to dive into the kind of those final moments when Alex is revisiting this painful moment, but there's also so much hope for his future? Right. I think it has a lot to do with the memories that you create. It, it's really a culmination of everything. Um, we did shoot that scene near the end of filming, which is, mm. which is fortunate. So, yeah. you know, I was able to kind of talk to and come to love the people around me and the place where I was. And so you have all the, you get to create all these connections to real things and then tie those real things to fictional things. So your love of this farm as it is, and you can then use that to create the memories within the farm that are fictional um and so on and so forth and you can combine real life experiences with your imagination and circumstance and all of that just kind of builds inside you and then you just have to trust it and you through that process i find that i get connected to the script and connected to the character and the circumstance and the people around me um you know it's really actually learning things from alex like real yeah. life interpersonal uh things because she's an incredible incredible woman and I'm speaking to her as the character but i can also say things to her in the subtext you can say thank you you can appreciate someone you can also just feel the space that they're giving you to feel emotion and that combined with all of the other things you've experienced and filled yourself up with and you just let it happen and it you let it you let it come out if you've filled yourself up yeah um, and, that, and that's why i think like people really talk about like it it take it takes a village because it, it i was so inspired by everyone around me i was so filled up by the people around me that if the performance is any good that would be why yeah and that, that scene in particular is absolutely fantastic. And I think throughout your career, you've gotten to play in the duality of comedy and drama. For you as an actor, is one more challenging than the other? Hmm. Not to say that comedy is, is, you know, incredibly, they're both endless and they both yeah. could be endlessly uh, challenging. I've had a, I'm a very ridiculous person. <laughs> so comedy, I think, <laughs> comes, certain aspects of comedy come uh, more naturally to me, I'm a weird guy. Um, so I would, I would say, I would say drama, but that's not to say that comedy doesn't have its own unique set of yeah. challenges. But yeah, I think harder time. Um, Cause you don't, you know, you don't really like get laughs all the time. Like every scene doesn't really, you know, always, you know, like the other one, if you can like make the director laugh or the crew laugh or something like that, you get like these boosts throughout the day. Whereas the other one, like sometimes it's just like you're doing a lot of scenes that are hard and they're hard yeah. to watch. And it like your day is not so much levity. <laughs> uh, so I'd say it's it's harder for those reasons. Yeah, you deliver such a standout performance in this film. Is there a scene in particular that you're really excited for your fans to see that maybe be, might be different from kind of previous roles that you've done? Gosh, I'd really, I'd have to leave that up to them. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't really think about that. And in that way, I think when you're doing the, you're just kind of focused on the character and like living yeah. in that spot, I think, um, I've never been like, oh, I think they'll like that one or, you know, and then when I'm watching the movie, I'm just so terrified, you know, it's, it's just so much anxiety for me. Um, especially when you're doing like really vulnerable stuff. Uh, so I really just I hope they like it. <laughs> I hope I hope I hope people like it. I hope they don't feel cheated. I think is is the best is the best thing I can hope for. Um, yeah, I would say the performances of of, of everyone else. It's much easier for mm. to me to be like watch, but like watch what Kevin did. Like watch what Madeline Brewer did. Watch what you know Alex Ship and 
Terry Preston, um, of what what all of the work that they were doing because that that was incredible. Such a leading man answer, you know. When Alex first meets Daisy, I know, I know. <laughs> I know. I toss it to everyone else, but it really is the truth. Is like that's what I get excited about. I yeah. Don't, I necessarily get excited about like, hey, like watch me, you know, but I'm like, I did it. Like, I kind of know what that is. I'm like, but really these, these people are incredible. Yeah, um, stellar performances across the board. Yeah. It, you know, when Alex first meets Daisy, she asks him why he's going to Mars, which is something that he never, that no one ever asked him. Having done a million junkets for the different projects that you've been a part of, what's one question that you've never been asked that you wish was asked? Ooh. I think I'd like to be asked, why bother? <laughs> why bother being an actor? Hmm. Yeah. What would your answer be to that? Sneaky guy. Sneaky. <laughs> um, I think I'm still figuring out. I think it's an, mm. it's an, it's an endless def definition. Uh, John Hawke said this thing in an interview that I love to repeat. Um, he said, I don't know, man, this is just what I do. Like if the world were to end tomorrow, I'd be scratching a poem on a rock with another rock for the five people left. And I was like, there's something to that. There's something to that. I think it's, it's like, this is, this is just how you give. Um, I don't feel terribly useful anywhere else. I feel like I'm, more useful here um and if that changes then i would i would change mm. uh yeah i like that question yeah maybe because i don't have the best answer for it so it makes me think about it but no that was that was a great answer and you know this film is going to tackle so many universal themes and each audience member is going to take something different away from it was there one in particular that really hit home for you it's really simple it's the idea that we can't run well you can run i think but it's beautiful and profound and much more loving and and probably a lot more fun not to run mm. to sort of face your trauma and your responsibilities and to face them at on um yeah I think there's that and and like the um the way in which alex loves his brother i find is really inspiring yeah to me the effect um of course like i live much more in that relationship than that film lives in the relationship between the two of them um but yeah i, I suppose if that comes off at all that'd be cool Definitely does. I got one final question for you. In addition to this film, it was also recently announced that you're starring in He Man. Is there anything that you can tease about that upcoming project? Unfortunately. <laughs> nothing. Like, actually, I was, yeah. It's obnoxious, I agree. But yeah, nothing. Oh. Totally understand. And the congratulations on this project and all, all the success that you've had in recent years. Nobody deserves it more than you. I hope you enjoy the, the rest of your, your process.